Hello, I'm Age of Change, and welcome to Tomb Raider Legend, starring the lovely Lara Croft. There seems to be a fine line between coincidence and irony. <laughs> You sure about that map? Unfortunately, there was some nonsense about the discovery of the real King Arthur's tomb here years ago. Soon discredited. And yet another roadside attraction was born. Well, let's see what we can see, shall we? At least it should be educational. Makes sense that it end up being either in housekeeping England. should be fired or no one's been inside for months. In England. Ben. What? <laughs> Man. Now this is familiar enough. Go for it, Laura. Test your royalty. No King of England jokes, Alistair. I probably have to turn on the power first. This place has seen better days. Mm, it's been condemned since the death of the owner, one Professor Worth. I shudder to think that at one time he had students. Well, and we it. have power. Hey, now that the power's on, maybe you can go back and pull out Excalibur. It's not Excalibur! The, the sword and the stone and Excalibur were two different bloody swords! Arthur got Excalibur after the sword and the stone broke in his battle with Valinor! Oh, good grief, nobody gets it straight! That's because nobody cares. <laughs> Boys! Sorry. between stupid and charming with you, is there? So that there would be no 
no squabbling betwixt the knights, Merlin bequeathed upon Arthur yon round table, which was the table neither square nor buttressed, but circular in form. <laughs> it was a symbol of unity and equality, and was from whither Arthur's oh, knights dear, took their name. Thus did King Arthur gather round his person ye greatest knights of ye realm, that they might be paragons of chivalry and virtue. Gaily they came, <coughs> yea, and was an assembly as had not before been seen, of, and verily there was much rejoicing. Pressing that one, sorry, it's just ridiculous. Before he did die, Arthur bade us his knight Bedivere to return if Excalibur to yon lady of ye lake. And lo, didst Arthur's body then slumber, and yea, it was borne away to Avalon, where it is said that from thither shall he someday return to claim it again his crown. Maybe the grunting Saxon or the Roman fascist that Alistair believes the whole legend was built around. Hmm. This is where the truth behind the myth is supposed to be explained. It has been turned into a warehouse. Fitting. There's been so little truth everywhere else, why start here? The only factual basis behind the King Arthur myths died centuries before this place was built. Give Professor Worth some credit. If he had to close an exhibit for renovations, at least he picked the most boring one. This definitely isn't Arthur's tomb. We knew that already. What's wrong with it? I've seen enough tombs in my life to know when I'm looking at a cenotaph. Say who? A diversion. This place is trying too hard. It's hiding something. A body? No. That's the problem. Time to put my four lift truck license to that sort of thing. Although not much of a four lift truck to be honest. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe. Not to miss the further adventures of Tomb Raider Legend. Bye.